So before I clone my hard drive with CloneZilla, what I have to do is I have to change the boot sequence in the BIOS. So I am going to power this on and I'm going to keep on tapping the delete key. So this is the MSI 14 Prestige Evo. So I am pushing the power and now I keep on tapping delete. Now some of the websites and possibly the manual says that it is F11. It is actually not F11, it is delete. So you notice how I just kept on tapping, tapping, tapping delete. Now I am in the bio screen, and once I'm in the bio screen, you know, navigate over, and um, you know if I had this stuck in there, this would appear, and then I'm gonna uh, you know do shift plus and minus until this particular boot disk, which is the USB boot disk, is the first option. So that's what you will have to do first. After that, just reboot, and then it'll boot up on this. USB, which is uh, basically for where CloneZilla is. So now I have my CloneZilla USB in there. I'm going to boot up and I'm going to keep on hitting delete. So right here is my USB with CloneZilla. I'm going to keep on hitting delete to get into the BIOS. And then I'm going to set the BIOS to boot off of my USB. So if I move over to the boot, you'll notice that that is my PNY USB drive. So that is the boot option, the first boot order. So I'm all set here, but um, you know, for you, if you needed to change the boot order in order to, you know, boot up to a USB drive or Clonezilla, that's how you would do it. Now I am gonna, you know, exit out and just boot up.